Greetings to all dear ones. In today's episode of Close Encounters, we will be exploring several remarkable encounters with unidentified flying objects. 26 December 1980 Rendlesham Forest, Suffolk, England. This incident is also known as Rendlesham Forest Incident. The United States Air Force was stationed near Rendlesham Forest while this incident was reported near to the Air Force Base. They witnessed a glowing object that was metallic in appearance with colored lights descending into the forest. When the stationed members of the US Air Force tried to approach the object, the object gathered speed and went into the forest. Lieutenant Colonel Charles Holt of United States Air Force, in his Holt memo to the UK Ministry of Defence, said, A security patrol saw lights apparently to the south of Woodbridge descending into nearby Rendlesham Forest. Servicemen initially thought it was a downed aircraft. According to Holt's memo, upon entering the forest to investigate, they witnessed a glowing object that was metallic in appearance with coloured lights. As they attempted to approach the object, it appeared to move through the trees without touching the trees, and the animals on a nearby farm went into a frenzy. Reddish orange glowing object is sort of oval in shape, like a large basketball or beach ball. It has a dark center, and it's moving. We see it in the forest, it moves through the trees, avoiding trees, it doesn't touch any trees, bobbing up and down and moving through the trees. Then it silently explodes like fireworks into multiple white objects and they disappear. Next morning, policemen found three small impressions on the ground in a triangular pattern, as well as burn marks and broken branches on nearby trees in the Rendlesham Forest. Sergeant Jim Penniston reported it to be triangular aircraft with advanced technology and some unknown inscriptions on it. March 1990, Belgium, Western Europe. Between November 1989 and April 1990, thousands of people reportedly witnessed triangular UFOs flying over various parts of Belgium. This is referred to as Belgium's UFO wave. On 30th March 1990, nearly 13,500 people watched as two F-16s chased the UFOs. Major General Wilfried de Brouwer of the Belgian Air Force had ordered two F-16s to keep a watch on these unidentified flying objects. Over the course of an hour, the two F-16s made nine attempts to intercept the UFOs and were able to make a radar lock with their targets. During one of the radar locks, the UFO accelerated from 150 miles per hour to over 1,100 miles while changing altitude from much higher than 5,000 feet above F-16s in a matter of seconds. After his retirement, Major General Wilfried de Brewer said in a press release that the Belgian UFO wave was exceptional and the Air Force could not identify the nature, origin and intentions of the reported phenomenon. He had submitted some photographic evidence to the public. The Belgian unidentified flying objects have still never been explained. Uh, during the evening of 29 November 1989, in a small area in eastern Belgium, approximately 140 UFO sightings were reported. Hundreds of people saw a majestic triangle craft with a span of approximately 120 feet. Powerful beaming spotlights moving very slowly without making any significant noise, but in several cases accelerating to very high speeds. But at the left, at, at your left, you see the original photograph. At the right, you can see an overexposed photograph which, which reveals the shape of the craft. In short, the Belgian UFO wave was exceptional 
and the Air Force could not identify the nature, origin and intentions of the reported phenomena. 16th September, Aerial School, Rua, Zimbabwe. 62 children at the Ariel School, aged between 6 and 12, said that they saw one or more silver crafts descend from the sky and land on a field near their school. According to the BBC interviews of Hind, Leach and Mack, 62 children between the ages of 6 and 12 said they had seen at least one UFO. One or more creatures dressed all in black then approached the children communicated strange messages with the children. There are various drawings and interviews taken from the children that depict the alien craft and alien creatures whom they saw. Rua, Ariel School, 19th September, 94, 12, 12, time. I thought it was an alien and he had big eyes. Can you tell me what you saw on, on Friday? Well, it looked like it was like glinting in the trees. Like it looked like round about like a... Like a disc. Like a rock. I saw something on the ground amongst the trees. And the person in black. They had big black eyes. That's all I saw. I saw a glimpse. They kind of turned around, stayed, and then went back into a kind of like shell. We asked them to draw pictures of what they saw on Friday, and um, after looking at those, I definitely feel that they did see something. Let us meet again and delve into more fascinating topics in our next episode. Until then, dear ones, my warm greetings with love. 